everybody. Something's just come in the post. And it's from DKIMRC, so it should be packed well. I don't think it's come straight from Tom D. It's the M2A2 or M3A3 Bradley. Yeah, probably got that wrong. Um, so I'm a white convalescing in the next room, so I've got this quickly. Um, so there's a bit of damage on the box. Um, and we'll get up to the model and show a more in-depth in view of it. So let's have a look. Now, the biggest question is, is it going to be 116? Because it doesn't, I keep looking on the um, website, at Geek Adam RC, and it doesn't say, which is solid. Scale still is there. What's that? What's that underneath? Right. Okay. So we have the manual. We'll do this upstairs in my room in, in more in depth and I'll show you what's in everything. Now, we've got a lot of parts. Now, I thought. This was, it looked like it was moulded on, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. All right. I'm still slightly dubious that this is not 116. And here's the gear and the bags. But I do believe by looking at that and looking at the Abrams, I'm not showing that first. Because if it isn't 116, I will be um, I'll spare tires and spare screws. There's the charger, IR. Oh, look at this upstairs. Let's put that back in. All right. Oh, did I get the name wrong? Yeah, M2A2, Bradley. All right. Hmm. There we go. Now, as far as I can see, that's not 1 16th. That, oops, there's your controller. So that is a bit of a disappointment. That's probably why it wasn't. I don't think that's 1 16th, is it? stop there just for a second I'm gonna go and get a little nap. Right, back again. Well, maybe, maybe it's 116th. Is there? I didn't see that. Maybe it is. Maybe it's 116th. What I've got to do is get some pictures of an Abrams and a Bradley together. And see what they look like. But this just looks a bit big for this, doesn't it? Don't let you guys. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go upstairs, and I'm going to give you a bit more in-depth look at it and a look at the parts and everything else. Uh, and maybe turn it on. Sorry, tank commander. And then I'll have a look. And what I'll do is I'll try and find for some reference some uh, once, uh, pictures of this with the bronze. But to me. I don't know. What do you think? Do you reckon that's in scale? Anyway, let's go upstairs and we'll have a look. Sorry, I'll put you back in your chieftain, I promise. Yeah, so if he's... Maybe. Maybe. So I'm thinking... Oh, 
Uh, right, I'll see you in a second. Right, everybody. Um, what I've done is I've put them side by side and I've printed off. It's the National Guard um, website. What do you reckon? Let's try and get the... See, the scientific way of doing this is find out how big a Bradley is and then dividing it by 16. <laughs> but I think... So if you look where the headlight is on the Bradley, it transects the bottom half of the Abrams' turret. I think that's doing the same. So let's just go, so you can see the tracks down the bottom. I think it's 1 16th. I just didn't realise how big a Bradley was. I thought the Brahms would be bigger. What do you guys reckon? Let's try and find some side on ones for length. Anyway, look, answer on a postcard. And uh, if anybody has the proper measurements of a Bradley, you let me know, and then I will tell you the measurements of this. It should be on the box section. Um, all right, let's have a good close look at the bits that come with it, and we'll turn it on. All right, everybody, uh, let's have a look and see what we get. Um, start with this one. So in this one, you get two aerials. Um, a slightly different charger than the uh, Hang Long one. A little screwdriver, I guess because you're not supposed to take this apart. Um, you've got the two things for the, you know, the radio in there as well. Um, and that's it, and the IR button thing. Um, and then you get some spare rubber tyres, because this has got rubber tyres on it, and some spare screws, I guess if some of them strip. Um, I must remember the time my wife um, she had to have emergency surgery on Sunday and it's all been a bit um, nuts. She's perfectly fine now. Uh, amazing NHS, honestly. Uh, you know, I don't know what we do without it. I hope um, the only trouble is the rich people who uh, run the government now. They don't need it, so sorry. Um, so, here's the parts. And there's a lot of parts. None of this is moulded. There's hardly anything moulded on this. When this, don't worry about this, when the radio isn't turned on, I've just had a fiddle with it, um, this stays at this weird angle here with the servo. When you turn it on, it closes up. So let's have a look at the parts. We'll do it just quickly. I can't remember, I've got to go and pick the kids up. Might have to have a hiatus on this, so I've got a bit of work to do. So. Right, let's so It's not bad quality, actually. I think they're getting better. And I think this is 1 16th. I think this is 1 16th. Um, stickers like hang long ones, so the vinyl type, but they look alright. Um, oh, there's a fuel can. Oh, I know, I can test. I've got fuel cans in my Brahms. They're the same size. A bit, give me a tick. One second. I'll be back in a bit. Right, I'm back. So, see the fuel can? And I said the bigger ones. It's a little bit bigger. So I'm wondering if this is 1 14th. It'd be weird if it was 1 15th. But it just looks. I don't know. Maybe it's just really bad moulding. I don't know. We've got to get the right size of this, right sort of dimensions to measure it up. I could just ask DKLMRC. It makes me wonder why it wasn't advertised as 1 16th. 
Um, so anyway, but these are parts. I mean, they all look quite neat and tidy, don't they? This is all the add-on extra armor bits, isn't it? There's some tools there, but as it's on a, a separate plate, you could do work on this without having to take the tank all apart, which is quite good. There's a spade. The axe. Um, some bits that fell off. But I'll keep it in the same packet, put it back in. That must be the front armour. I'll show you why that must be the front armour in a minute. So that's that. Next bag. And this is the... Um, this is why I also wonder, because this is all the backpack accessories, you know, the, the crew storage. They look a bit big for 1 16th, don't they? I mean, I can't imagine Colin, my chieftain tank commander, wearing one of those on his back. Come on, Colin, where are you? Come see the public. So... 1 16th figure with a strange tan. Backpack, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. What do you reckon, people? <laughs> the great 1 16th debate. Oh, sorry. Again, I'm getting overexcited. I'm going to be told that no one can understand what I'm saying and I have to slow down. And, uh, you know, I'm a foolish man. You should expect more of me on this channel. Um... So there's those. So I think yeah, quite a lot of stowage. I mean, if this is 116th, I mean, if they sold this separately, it could be cheap stowage, couldn't it? I don't know, it's just... I don't know. I'm surprised how big it is. But, you know, I'm not an aficionado of American armour, really. Um, I suppose if you've got 12 crew in there, it's not going to be small, is it? Um, so that's basically all of the um, accessories you get with it. So it's not a huge amount. Um, let me pop this away and then I'll quickly show the tank in depth. Right, back. So, this is it. The detail's not bad actually, and as a lot of it comes off of it and has to be put on, it'll be quite a lot easier to um, deal with it. I mean, one sixteenth figure fits in there. Oh, I wish I would stop biting my finger now. Yeah, that's where the IR mushroom must go. So it goes in there. I've got this ginormous gap, but I think that is one of those panels I showed you just a minute ago. It sticks on there and makes up that gap. Um, the tracks are pretty nonsense. They're not, I don't know. They should have double pads, shouldn't they? But, sort of thing. And there's the... Torsion bar suspension. Um, I don't know if you can see inside there. There's the torsions. All the radio gear is up here. I'll take it apart at some point. Um, here's the connector for the battery. And there's the, the charging connector because the battery's staying. It's not broken, I don't think. It's not broken. The actual tank itself is not broken. Um, normally with Tongi stuff, but I think that might well be because I got it from DKLMRC and... Um, Carson at DKLMRC is a very good man and he wouldn't send out junk. It's not his style. All of his stuff I've ever got has been perfect and lovely. Um, so there's that. Um, that opens, that opens. This is closed, it's got a little magnet here, so there must be a bit of metal here. Oh, there, there's a magnet. Um, so there's the battery lead that goes to the battery and everything in the front there. There's the main speaker. I'm not sure you'd be able to do much about putting an interior in this because it's got and those torsion bars down there span the floor and they're connected on the floor so you'd have to put a false floor somehow and that's the post to hold the speaker so you see the speakers there that's it yeah i'll try and zoom in on this as well when i'm editing i think you can see a lot of that in there and then there's the turret controls but i'll take this apart but not today i just thought you would all want to see it so that's that then this one here for some reason unbeknownst to ah that's where you put the battery that would explain it then okay oops sorry stand so there's the battery thing oh well that makes sense 
that might be another way reason why putting an interior might be tricky um so yeah and then there's the usual tongdy thing where it's it's here and the charging port thing isn't there it's just the on and off switch look um let's turn it on now it's got a special function on this radio but it worked when I got this, I don't know if it's the batteries, I had to hit it. <laughs> um, it wouldn't come on. So there we go, it sounds like an Austin Allegro. So it's to use all the controls. Uh, it's not 360, obviously. There we go. So you press V uh, and it puts this down. If you want to get it up, you know what I mean? You press V and it's that. Yeah. And then if you press it together, so there is the um, IR sender and this must be the receiver. Okay, and if you want to get it down, you just press V and think of Margaret Thatcher. Just like that. Yeah, that's an in-joke with English people, you'd understand. Um, apart from that, it's pretty much just a... Ooh, good shot. It's got um, indicators. That's one thing, wait a minute. Uh, obviously not at the back. So it's just indicators at the front. And that's it. Um, we'll just go through the manual. Okay. Right, well, let's have a quick look. I must remember I have to pick the kids up. So one front light switch, uh, by the sound D at the same time. T for lights. Okay. Uh, tank backward, left turning, by the sound of D at the same time. No idea. Um, okay. What have I done? Uh, tank, uh, tank forward, left tuning, but oh, I see. Tank forward, right tuning, so the same as hang long. Operation mode one, high speed mode, by the sound D. Dawn, low speed, same sound mode, sound Dawn. Okay, so T downward should slow it down. Did you have a joystick two? Oh, wait a minute, is this? Oh, there we go, that's a bit better. And then up. Faster, right, fair enough. Um, machine gun sound and flashing. I've got to take that out. I bet that's a recyclical wheel. Um, D, sound tank to fetch switch. Oh, and T. So, same as hanging along, I guess. I'm not sure it's got many. No. Um, volume up. The buzzer sound D at the same time. And that is V. Can't be. Oh, I know what I keep doing. You know what it does ever so sound like is a computer game in an arcade. Tank to Volume down by the sound D. Control stick 2. Quieter. Um, BB bullets. Not BB bullets. Ow. Um, 
Left hand control mode. Oh no, 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 it's Tammy. We don't talk about that. Um, raise the tank, self rotate speed. Raise the tank, self rotate speed. Raise the tank. Control stick one, button D. Button D. Raise the. <laughs> well, we'll do that one out in the garden. Um, reduces turning circuit, same as hang long. Machine gun sound effects switch. Tank second machine gun sound and switched. D and A. D and A? Oh, I see. No idea. Um, super self rotate switch. Super self rotate. D and B. Oh, it did something. Yes. Good, so whatever that was. Um, turn the transmitter power first off on. Yes, yeah, fine. Uh, and then this is the um, infantry fighting vehicle bits. So, tank infantry fighting vehicle function switch. Um, v plus B. Oh, that's right, yeah, that's what makes. V plus B. Oh. Okay, so it does that. It does it the other one as well. Uh, machine gun cannon, like. Yeah, okay, that's fine, which is that. Shoot tow into tank missile, A plus B, so that just does the IR. Yeah, and that's the launch time to tank missile, which is up stick and V, which I showed you, and down stick, which is V. Further, operate the rear door, customer needs DIY to add servo to make it work. Oh, okay. So maybe they'll release a kit for that. So that's that there, I think, too. And uh, BB recoil mode. Okay, so that's just strength of things, or if you don't have this in this. Um, turn it off. Right, and let's just quickly look through the manual, and I'm going to get this shot out onto the channel so you guys can uh, have a look and see what you think. If you think it's 1 16th, I'm feeling it's ever so slightly big, you know. I don't know. I might be wrong. Um, caution. Please take good care of the battery pack. It will explode in face. When battery is getting charged, please use a special USB cable of the material to avoid danger. Do not reversely connect the positive and negative poles or else you will explode. Do not charge the battery in the microwave. What? Anyway, um, plug battery into wall socket. Plug battery in the computer. Same same pictures as Hanlon. Um, the ah, there we go. And it shows you where the battery goes, so it's quite good. Hopefully you can see this. And not, uh, I must talk slow. Uh, I could always talk in an accent like this. So if you look here, you put the infrared receiver on the specific magnetic position. Um, so I've just probably offended everybody in the West Country now. Um, this is a parts list of what you got. This is how to put the stickers on. Don't for God, you to just just don't use home roll varnish. You know what I'm talking about in about three weeks. Um, I guess a little screwdriver is for the wheels. This is where you put all the stuff. I think it's slightly clearer than hand long. And then again, oh, this uh, track tensioning. More detailed parts, the spare parts. Yeah, and then the radio, which is, this is basically Hing Long, isn't it, really? But it has servo ports. So I, I think this is like the Hing Long 6.1 or, or maybe 7.1, but 7.1's got four servo ports. So I think this is the old 6.1 that's been tarted up a bit and had, had different sounds put on. And then my like, control thing, and let me just put this here so you can hopefully we'll see it. I'll hold it there for a sec. And then the back, it tells you all about the Bradley Infantry fighting vehicle and how they should have bought warriors. I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, so that's that. And it says nowhere on here what scale. <gasps> it does! It says it's 1 16th. 
Now, why are they lying, though? But it says 1 16th. <gasps> so I've just passed out. Maybe they are that big. That's flipping big, isn't it, then? I didn't realise how big these infantry fighting vehicles were, then. So it says 1 16th. It must be 1 16th. Oh, well, that's good, then. That's relief. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a happy ending, then, isn't it? Oh, God, I shouldn't have said that. I didn't mean that. Um, sorry, I actually probably know what I'm talking about. Thank God for that. Um, so, look. It's 1 16th. What I'll do is, when I've got some time, um, I'm going to take it apart as a second video, because this will go on a bit, and you'll get so bored that you'll just unsubscribe. I've had loads of people unsubscribe. Just, you know, I looked out the other night. It's just, I think it's my haircut. So, yeah, so you, you can whack your back door open and have a look inside and see where it's in there. That little door comes undone. Um, but it's all right, I think. I don't think it's too bad. Oh, which I mean, when you turn it off, this doesn't fully close up. It just sits half open. I don't know if that's a safety feature to stop you getting your finger caught in it or something. I don't know. And there's a humongous gap around there. But, you know, I don't think it's too bad. The plastic feels slightly pliable, a bit more hang long. So, yeah. Look, everybody. Um, I've got to go and pick the kids up. Um, <laughs> from school. <laughs> but I thought I'd do this really quickly so you could get the first impression of it and take a bit closer up. Okay? Um, there's going to be two videos up there because I'm releasing another one on the... Um... That's working now. Oh, that's good. When I first got it, I had to hit it. I take it apart to see if there's a... Um... It's probably there's a little... the, the switch is a little bit dodgy. But it seems to be doing it now, so that's good. Yeah, so there's the um, Tongi M2A2 Bradley 1 16th scale 2.4 gigahertz radio controlled battle tank. And the whole beginning of this video now that I've done is probably pointless because it's, it says it's 1 16th on the form. Anyway, have a nice weekend and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll crack on with all the other stuff that I'm supposed to be doing and finishing. Not going well, you know. Anyway, have a nice time, everybody. Bye. Oh, well, let me say it slower. Have a nice time, everybody. Bye. Where's me knob? Hi, everybody. Um, I know it's going to sound horrible. I don't mean this in a horrible way, but sometimes the translations are so cryptic, it's really hard sometimes to understand what they mean. Now, there's this one here. It says tank slow acceleration system switch on off. Tank slow acceleration system. What that means is, is this board has inertia. So um, let me just quickly show you. I'll turn it on. So this is without it. No, I always do that. I'm now going to press T and A. Now look, that's not me doing that, it's got inertia control, it's nuts, it's also got different braking levels um, as well, so in other words it stops quicker, really, um, so I wish they'd be a little bit less cryptic, but yeah so it's got inertia on that board so that's really cool. Hi all. Um, I was just doing the um, thumbnail picture with the boxes and stuff, and I realised, because I was doing it quite quick, the turret, there's a massive gap around there, so I don't know. Well, obviously it's not in a real thing. I'd have to look at the pictures, or maybe that's covered up by the extra bits that go on. So it'd be interesting when I put all the bits on to show you how it looks. Um, so that'll be the next video on this. And also I've noticed it's got lots of bolts underneath and I think that's holding on the swing arms and that must be bolting up the torsion bars that you saw inside earlier in the other video. Um, so it's that little bit, but it's all right. I have a bit of a erection problem on that one. It doesn't quite go up as far as it should. Um, so I might have to take it apart and see if I can make it a bit stiffer. It's been a long week. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd just quickly show you that. And it's got a smoke machine. I have no idea where the smoke comes out from because it's working. But I don't think there's any smoke in it. So I'm going to look in the manual. But once I've put all the bits on it, um, I'll do that as a separate video. I just want to give you a close-up look at what it looked like with all the tat off. And then when you put it all together, I might even do that tomorrow and put one up so you can see. Okay. Well, look, um, have a nice evening. You'll probably get this in America first because I'm going to edit it and chuck it up now. Um, but you know it takes time. So, and then we'll see what happens. But I thought if everybody wants one of these. I mean, it, it's all right. And it says 1 16th.
Purr. It says it on the box. Such a doofus sometimes. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm sure if you're passionate about an M2A2 Bradley, you could do quite a good job with this. Anyway, have a nice time, and I'll see you for the next bit. TTFN!